What's going on guys, Boss Jacoby here and welcome to the final installment of this four part mini series pool breakdowns where I break down each pool in an individual episode and this time you guessed it, we're going to go over pool D. This pool and MLG Raleigh consists of the 4th seed Envy, 5th seed Next Threat, 12th seed Juked, and 13th seed Force. So this is, I would say, probably the second um, second strongest pool, although you have huge contenders in A and B from Leverage and Optic Gaming. I just don't think the pool as a whole is as strong as C or D, uh, D being the second strongest in my opinion. So anyways, getting into the records, I have Envy at 3-1, and one. I have Next Thread at 4-0, and oh. I have Juked at uh, 1-3, and three. I have Force at 2-2, two and two. and then the open bracket, 4th seeded open bracket team, excuse me, um, will be 0-4 in my opinion. So anyways, for Envious guys, I have them defeating every single team except for Next Threat, and I think that that game between Next Threat and Envy will be certainly one to watch and one that can go either way, so definitely pay attention to that. Next Threat, I have going 4-0, defeating every single team, and I think that their only close game, like I just said, will be against Envious, or Envy. Uh, the next one is Juked going 1-3. and three. I just don't see them um, playing that well. I don't see them defeating, uh, you know, Next Threat or Envy um, or even Force. And I want to get into Force in just a second. I do have them defeating the number 4 open bracket team. That's Juked against number 4. I have them winning. So the next team is Force. I have them going 2-2, two and two, defeating the 4th open bracket team and Juked. And the reason that I think that Force will step it up a little bit here is because they cut the dead weight. Now, I wouldn't call it dead weight, but they cut a lot of players, and I think that they made some significant improvements. The only remaining player is Damo, and he teamed up with Dose from Knox Nation, who's a very solid player. He teamed up with Huddle from Twisted Method, who's again another solid player, and then Mochilla, which is arguably the best player from Aim for Victory, which was a shock at the past event. So I think that this is a revamped Force team that can prove to be a contender in pose some problems for some of these teams that don't think that they will do that well. Of course, the fourth open bracket team is left at 0-4. I just don't see, you know, that deep into the in, into the open bracket, the fourth best uh, seeded team. I don't see them, you know, winning in this pool against this competition, possibly taking out Juked, but that might be a close game. Um, they might upset somewhere depending on who exactly it is. I just don't see it, though. 0-4 for the number four bracket or number four seeded open bracket team. Guys, that's it for my pool breakdowns. You know, you will know. We will know later today what's going to go on, who's going to win, what's happening. Leave a comment down below. I want to hear your thoughts. I want to compare them against my predictions, and we'll see who is right. So, anyways, like I said, these are all my own opinions. I'm sure I'm wrong somewhere. Um, but yeah, guys, hope you, hopefully you guys enjoyed not only this episode but the three that that uh, that were previous to it. Um, and uh, if you did, please hit that like button. It really does help me out a lot, and I really do appreciate it. And I will, all, I will talk to you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm out of here. See ya.